Here we want to discuss the well-ordering axiom. This is going to be very important throughout this course and particularly in the first chapter. The well-ordering axiom states that every non-empty subset of non-negative integers contains the smallest element. So if we have any collection of integers, there has to be a smallest element if every element in that set is positive. And to an extent, this makes sense. But for any axiom, theorem, um, definition, what have you, you want to make sure that this statement makes sense to you by doing an example. So here we have this set S. And this is read as the set S is equal to the set of all elements of the form 2k plus 1, such that k is an integer with k greater than or equal to 0. So note here that this z represents the integers, and you'll see this a lot throughout the course. There's mathematical notation where the integers, once again, are the positive and negative whole numbers, including 0. So let's figure out what this set S is about. It tells us that um, it's a set of elements of the form 2k plus 1, where k is greater than or equal to 0 and an integer. So the first element of this set, if we're, if we're ordering it, is going to be 2 times 0 plus 1. So I can substitute a 0 in. That's the smallest k. Now, the next k I could substitute in would be a 1. And then after that, I could substitute in a 2 for k. And I can keep going here, and I'm doing this because I really want to understand what this set looks like. And oftentimes, it's better to do this by writing out some elements than by just trying to understand the, uh, the generalized notation um, of what each element looks like. So here, let's simplify. We've got 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1, so our first, uh, this first simplifies to 1. Uh, then we get 3, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 7, 9, dot, dot, dot. So it looks like our set S here is actually the set of positive odd numbers. And because we have a collection of elements of a set that are integers um, and every element is positive, the well-ordering axiom tells us that this set contains a least element. And so if we look, it's pretty clear to see that this element is 1. So I'll finish writing this out in words. Set S is a set of positive odd numbers. And it has a least element, which is guaranteed to us by the well-ordering axiom. And we can see that indeed here, that smallest element is going to be 1.